Hi, and welcome back to Get Started with React Native. In this lesson, I'll teach you how to integrate and work with third-party components, such as a map view. The integrated map view component was deprecated and removed from React Native recently. This means we need another solution to add it to our project. Fortunately, Airbnb has created a bunch of components in the React Native Maps package. That also is recommended by the React Native developers. Installation of a third-party component can vary. But in this case, it's pretty simple. Just run npm install React Native Maps with the save option or yarn add React Native Maps, depending on what you're using. Then run React Native Link React Native Maps, which will add the native dependencies to the Xcode and Android projects. If you're using Android, you have to get a Maps API key and add that to your manifest file. Check out the installation instructions for React Native Maps on that. Okay, let's have a look at Map View, the main component, and a few examples. Map view is simply added by importing it from the package and using it like any other component. You can also add a custom initial region, for instance around the user, where you want to start from. The module offers support for both Google Maps or the native implementation of the platform. On iOS, it's MK Map view with Apple Maps. You can also add markers to a map view with custom callouts and descriptions. One of the most useful things you can do is showing the user's location. To do that, you have to have the NS location when in use usage description key in your info.plist on iOS. But this is automatically done when initializing a React Native app. Map view is very powerful. We will see that when adding our drawing code to show the user's route. But let me give you another example. You can change the tiles of your map as well, for example, to OpenStreetMap. This is awesome. Okay, enough theory. Let's implement it in our app. First of all, we have to install it. I'm using yarn, so let me do this by typing yarn at React Native Maps. Followed by React Native Link, React Native Maps. To link the native modules, to the project. After installing the module, we have to import the map view component into our app at the top. And now we can use it and play around. I'm going to add a style called map to our style sheet that uses absolute fill object, which essentially uses position absolute and top, right, bottom, and left set to zero, so it covers the whole screen. To use the map, just add the component and the style. And we have a map. I know that we are going to be in Cupertino for most of our work on maps, so let me quickly add the correct coordinates as an initial region. I'm also going to activate City Bicycle Run in the simulator's location settings, so we have a moving location. Now it's time to show the location. I'm going to add show's user location to the map view. The true value is implicit and doesn't need to be added. When reloading, the app asks us if we want to allow get started to use the location. After confirming, it shows our virtual location on screen. Let's also add follows user location, which takes away the interactivity of the map view, but follows our fake user through the city. Finally, let's do another little project that goes into the direction of drawing a line, but without the use of any API and by using markers. So, let's use an event on map view that gets triggered whenever the map region changes. I'm going to extract that into a separate function called addMarker. Within this function, I'll first add a naive throttle so we don't get a massive amount of markers on screen by storing the last time a marker was added and comparing it to the current time minus 5000 milliseconds. 
so we only get a marker every 5 seconds. Then we have to set the state. I want to populate a marker array with the contents of the previous markers, which I can do with three dots, and then append a new one. A marker needs a coordinate, which I can fabricate from the latitude and longitude of the region. Since the marker doesn't care that there are additional values in the region, we can just use it as is. Then I'm also going to add a key attribute that will receive a global ID that gets incremented, just to avoid some warnings. Finally, I want to set the new last added marker time to now. So let's add an ID global and set it to zero. And also set the initial state of markers to an empty array. Finally, we can loop through all stored markers with map and add a marker to the map view with the coordinate and key set. And now we have a working pseudo tracking device. It isn't all that useful because we can't interact with the map. But it works. Yay! To recap, third party modules can be installed and imported very easily. Always check the installation documentation to integrate native modules. React Native Maps is a powerful and easy to use map solution. In the next lesson, we will have a look at React Native APIs, especially geolocation that we will use to properly track the user's location and draw a path of their route. See you there!